trailer overturned uh, on the interstate uh, about 12.30 this morning. We extricated the driver. The product he was hauling is xylene. Uh, the tanker was full with about 6,200 gallons. The emergency response guidebook was very helpful. The first arriving units were able to find a placard and then were able to look up in the guidebook product that we were dealing with. Xylene has a high flammability. It has a flash point of 88 degrees. And then not only the product, but the, the health and safety aspects, the fire and explosion risks, the isolation zone. And by that, we were able to set up our cold zones, warm zones, hot zones as per the book and the shipper's suggestions. It was very beneficial to have those documents and to have the resources to be able to do it. The guide is extremely important, especially to the first responders. That's your initial uh, source of critical information that we rely on very heavily. All responders should have the emergency response guides in their cars or in their vehicles. And if they roll up on a scene like this, where if it starts out bad, it's very hard to fix. But if it starts out good, you have many less issues. And the first responders followed it. They set up their perimeter. So I think it kept everybody safe in this instance. The book is designed to protect everybody. Everybody from a firefighter that arrives there in full structural protective clothing and self-contained breathing apparatus to a police officer or an EMS provider that arrives on the scene that doesn't have any sort of respiratory protection or any kind of protective gear. Then the excitement of the moment is not the time to learn how to use the book. Uh, when things are blowing up, when things are on fire, when spills are running into waterways, that's not the time to learn how to use the book. You need to have some basic knowledge about using this book before you pull it out at your first incident. And, and you may go years of your career and never have to use the book. And people put the book to the side they don't know where to find it when an emergency happens, and it, it's just like exit drills in the home with fire. If you don't practice occasionally when the real incident happens and the stress of the moment is upon you, then you're not going to have a very good outcome. It's been my experience in working with emergency responders, really from almost every type of job description, from industrial responders to EMS to police to firefighters, those that know how to use the book are not the people that are getting exposed and injured at hazardous materials incident. But those that know how to use the book, most of the time they have a successful outcome and not only protect themselves, but protect the public. And I've heard several people comment after they learn how to use the book is, gosh, we didn't realize how, hazardous, how many hazardous materials were in our area. I've had students that uh, will come back and say, yeah, I was stopped at a railroad track and I had no idea what was coming through our community. Or I was driving down the interstate highway and you wouldn't believe what I saw being transported down the interstate highway. And it just increases your overall awareness about what's going on around you. Support your local fire departments. We need you to help us so we can be counted on when you need us to help you.